this vision is on impaired vision or vision impairment for people who have uh, inflammatory bowel disease of some form, whether it's colitis or Crohn's disease, or perhaps they have an ostomy in some form of underlying IBD. So if you have someone like that in your life who has IBD and or an ostomy, then listen to this video and understand that many of us around the world um, uh, with bowel disease and or an ostomy, we experience vision impairment at some time during our health journeys. Um, it's just something that we have to contend with. So when someone has Crohn's disease like myself, the inflammation <clears throat> doesn't always stay in our digestive tract, whether that be our small intestine, our large intestine, our esophagus, whatever the case may be. Up to half of people uh, with Crohn's disease also may experience inflammation in their eyes or some other part of their body. Now the data from country to country on this Honestly, it's it's not aggregated globally, and even the data you look at that's country specific, um, I really question the veracity of it because there just doesn't there's not a lot of great data in IBD um, around some important issues in various nations. So that being said, so part of it's anecdotally, but it is quite common if you just go through social media, a lot of people uh, who have with people who have uh, some form of inflammatory bowel disease, they'll speak to inflammation in, in other areas of the body that has nothing to do with their digestive tract or their intestinal tract. So when Crohn's disease um, or IBD shows any symptom outside of our gastrointestinal tract, these are called extra intestinal manifestations or EIMS, E I M S, as an acronym. So, aside from eyes, where this can happen, you can get inflammation in your eyes, which is associated with uh, Crohn's disease in my case, but it can also occur in other areas of the body, like our skin or our joints or our liver. And, and a significant amount of people <clears throat> with IBD around the world at some point during their illness are going to experience this. Now, it turns out that eye inflammation is. Uh, one of the more common types of EMS, um, of, of you know, of inflammation outside of the digestive tract. And I'm doing this video from personal experience because I know I experienced it. So you now the exact cause of why you have eye issues and how that pertains to or relates to um, Crohn's disease and how they both interact. Look, the science is not, <clears throat> there's science on this. It's just, we'd like it to also be better developed. Um, but we do experience a wide variety of symptoms in our eyes, uh, people like myself. And often the oral steroids that many of us take <clears throat> to treat Crohn's disease can actually cause um, eye issues that we might have, eye problems. So in one case, we, if you look at me as an example, when my uh, Crohn's disease was at its worst and when I was taking steroid treatments, I went through a seven month period where I was unable to read anything on a page of paper or on a computer screen. My vision was just too blurred out for that. I could obviously walk around and see objects and that kind of thing. I just couldn't read anything that was put in front of me, words. So, but again, this is when my disease was really bad and I was taking steroids. But this sort of thing does happen to a great many of us. So just think of the practical implications. How do you work anywhere in any, you know, most places of employment if you're unable to read anything because your vision's too blurry, aside from all the other symptoms we go through? It's quite an issue. So, and there's other times when my disease was hyperactive and I would see stars and kind of like black, blackened out types of thing that I'd get dizzy and I'd lose my vision and bright lights like fluorescent lights in the supermarket often would trigger this. Um, so there's light sensitivity issues I would experience. And then other, ost other ostomates or people's IBD experience the same thing. That's why I'm mentioning these. So, um, and there's a few factors that can trigger eye problems for people with Crohn's. And these include things like, like for instance, our immune response. I just want to speak to you about this for a moment. Crohn's disease damages the lining of our intestine. Full stop, it's pretty simple. But this allows, this is practical in the sense that it allows toxins and proteins called antigens to leak from our digestive tract into our bloodstream. So our immune system of our body then sees these substances as harmful and it attacks them just, just like it attacks our intestine. So this can trigger inflammation in our eyes or some other part of our body. So oral, oral steroids and other medicines uh, like Remicade, for instance, can sometimes contribute to this or bring it on. Um, so these treatments that we take for Crohn's disease can cause these problems with our eyes, inflammation in our eyes or some other things. I'm not going to, I'm not an expert on the 
whole subject. I can only speak to what I personally experience. I'm not going to break down every friggin' eye issue that we can experience. Um, I'm just highlighting the issue and you can do your own research and bring attention to the fact that a lot of us go through this as an addition to our disease experience with inflammatory bowel disease. So the steroids at the end of the day that we take by mouth, it's aerostor steroids, can raise our odds of things like glaucoma or high pressure in the eye and do the same thing for cataracts, which kind of cloud the lens. So in the drug treatments I already mentioned, as an example, Remicade can trigger these eye conditions, the steroids can trigger them as well. And sometimes though, this is important to note, I started having symptoms of inflammatory bowel disease at the age of 19. I was not diagnosed till I was 21 because it took the healthcare system two years to figure it out. There are some people like me, say if you took me as an example, when I was 18, um, I may have had symptoms of eye inflammation showing up already before I actually even had intestinal symptoms when I was 19. The point is the eye inflammation is a precursor or a predictor of the IBD coming down the pipeline. So for some people, that can be the case. Um, and if anybody has is not diagnosed with IBD, but has commonly over a number of years might have uh, bouts of eye inflammation, you got to get that checked out and talk to your doctor and get screened for inflammatory bowel disease. It just doesn't make, it's not certain you're going to have it, but it's possible it's a predictor. So the other thing to remember is that inflammatory bowel disease at the end of the day, it doesn't just affect our abdomen or just generally speaking what we call our stomach area. It, what key to remember is that it is a systemic disease that affects other organs of our body. And then it affects things like, I'm highlighting this video, our eyes, our eyesight. It can lead to impaired vision, which really dramatically impacts negatively the quality of our life. So there's numerous different types of eye inflammation that can occur associated with Crohn's, and I'm not going to break all that down because, again, I'm not an expert in it. I just want to highlight the broader subject and, and the fact that we have to deal with this and manage it when our disease is at its worst and we're taking our drug treatments, which can bring this on. Um, and at the end of the day, if you net all this out, if someone does have inflama inflammatory bowel disease, it's important that they do get regular eye examinations. Um, and if there's any changes in our vision, We've got to report or irritations with our eyes. We've got to report that to a variety of healthcare providers. Now, I'll just say as an add-on to finish this video, my own personal experience engaging some gastroenterologists and some of, some of my surgeons that, that I had from my abdomen um, is that they're not, when you when I would highlight my vision problems, a lot of times when I was hospitalized, I'd raise this, actually I'd raise it every time I was admitted. Every time I saw a doctor, I'd raise the symptoms I was experiencing in my eyes. They always ignored it. They never dealt with it. They just looked at it like it's some extraterrestrial thing and not, you know, at the end of the day, but the things that affected my employability, right? How do you go work somewhere in a professional capacity, a white collar corporate type job, if your vision's going in and out? So it's a problem. Anyways, the ostomy athlete, take care.